Okay, uh, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create shapes that have a multitude of sides. So as you can see in the example that I have out here, I have a shape here with a six side, which would be a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the shapes that we've learned so far being um, like rects and ellipses and triangles and quads, we couldn't create this six-sided shape and fill it in. So we could have created with lines like you can see I have as an example that I'm going to replicate here. Um, but we couldn't do it with a solid shape that we could fill in. So what we're going to learn here today is something called a vertex. And a vertex, as you probably know, is the definition is where two lines intersect. So in order to create a shape such as this, uh, we're going to, and you can see I already placed a fill color up here. And what we're going to do to begin this, you are going to start off with uh, begin shape. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, the S is capitalized. So it's B-E-G-I-N, then capital S-H-A-P-E. You have your parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. A note, nothing goes inside of your uh, parentheses. So that's where we're going to start. Now, on my example here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start right here at the top at 100, 100. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in vertex, and I'm going to just type in my first location of my X, which is 100. And then my Y, which is 100. Close it off with a semicolon. Then I'm going to go to my next plot location, which would be 300 on the X and 100 on the Y. So again, I type in vertex. And I got to go with uh, 300 and then 100. And then I'm going to go to my third plot location. Uh, what I'm going to use is 350 on the X and then 200 on the Y. So again, vertex. And I have 350 on the X and 200 on the Y. And then I'll come down to my next plot point, vertex. Again, you can see this one is 300 on the X and 300 on the Y. So like that. And <clears throat> next one here, we have 100 on the X, 300 on the Y, vertex. We have 100 for X, 300 for Y. So as, as you can see here, we could start making um, quite unique shapes here um, to create almost anything here in JavaScript here. So there we go. Now, uh, I just finished up my last one here at 50 and 200. I'm going to stop there because I'm going to show you one thing here, uh, what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to close it up here in a second. But what, how I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to skip a line. I'm going to say end shape. Okay, again, uh, the S is capitalized. And there we go. So you could see that it looks like it's a completely filled in um, hexagon here. So let me get rid of some of these here. Now what you're going to notice here on our shape is that we don't have this closed up. Uh, we ended here at 50 on the X and 200 on the Y. But if I want this line to be closed right here, I'm going to have to put one more plot location. And that will be the same one that I started with. So I'll have to end it with vertex and 100 on the x 100 on the y and once i do that you'll notice that i get my solid line i'll put a quick stroke weight in here so you can see it a little bit better like five so now you can see that it is a solid shape there so again this is something unique because we couldn't do this before with just creating lines and then filled in but now with our vertex shape we could definitely do that so this should allow you to create pretty much any shape imaginable all right, I hope this helps out for you, and uh, best of luck moving forward.